In set theory, the cardinality of the continuum is the cardinality or size of the set of real numbers, sometimes called the continuum. It is an infinite cardinal number and is denoted by or. The real numbers are more numerous than the natural numbers. Moreover, has the same number of elements as the power set of. Symbolically, if the cardinality of is denoted as. The cardinality of the continuum is this was proven by Georg Cantor in his 1874 Uncountability Proof. Part of his groundbreaking study of different infinities, and later more simply in his diagonal argument, Cantor defined cardinality in terms of bijective functions. Two sets have the same cardinality if and only if there exists a bijective function between them. Between any two real numbers are less than b. No matter how close they are to each other, there are always infinitely many other real numbers. And Cantor showed that there are as many as those contained in the whole set of real numbers. In other words, the open interval is equinumerous with this is also true for several other infinite sets such as any n-dimensional Euclidean space, that is, the smallest infinite cardinal number is. The second smallest is the continuum hypothesis, which asserts that there are no sets whose cardinality is strictly between in, implies that properties. Uncountability Georg Cantor introduced the concept of cardinality to compare the sizes of infinite sets. He famously showed that the set of real numbers is uncountably infinite, i.e., is strictly greater than the cardinality of the natural numbers. In other words, there are strictly more real numbers than there are integers. Cantor proved this statement in several different ways. See Cantor's first uncountability proof and Cantor's diagonal argument. Cardinal equalities A variation on Cantor's diagonal argument can be used to prove Cantor's theorem which states that the cardinality of any set is strictly less than that of its power set, i.e., less than 2, a, and so the power set P of the natural numbers N is uncountable. In fact, it can be shown that the cardinality of P is equal to Define a map f, out p from the rails to the power set of the rationals by sending each real number x to the set of all rationals less than or equal to x. This map is injective since the rationals are dense in R. Since the rationals are countable we have that. Let 0, 2, n be the set of infinite sequences with values in set 0, 2. This set clearly has cardinality as given by the indicator function. Now associate to each such sequence the unique real number in the interval 0, 1, with the ternary expansion given by the digits, i.e., the ith digit after the decimal point is i. The image of this map is called the Cantor set. It is not hard to see that this map is injective. For by avoiding points with the digit 1 in their ternary expansion we avoid conflicts created by the fact that the ternary expansion of a real number is not unique. We then have that. By the Cantor-Bernstein-Schroeder theorem we conclude that the cardinal equality can be demonstrated using cardinal arithmetic. By using the rules of cardinal arithmetic one can also show that where n is any finite cardinal 2, and where is the cardinality of the power set of R, and alternative explanation for every real number has at least one infinite decimal expansion. For example, 1 half equals 0 0.50000, 1 third equals 0 0.33333, equals 3.14159. In any given case, the number of digits is countable since they can be put into a one-to-one -one correspondence with the set of natural numbers. This fact makes it sensible to talk about the first, the one hundredth, or the millionth digit of. Since the natural numbers have cardinality each real number has digits in its expansion. Since each real number can be broken into an integer part and a decimal fraction, we get since on the other hand, if we map to and consider that decimal fractions containing only 3 or 7 are only a part of the real numbers, then we get and thus Beth numbers. The sequence of Beth numbers is defined by setting in. So is the second Beth number, Beth 1. The third Beth number, Beth 2, is the cardinality of the power set of R. The continuum hypothesis, 
The famous continuum hypothesis asserts that is also the second Aleph number. In other words, the continuum hypothesis states that there is no set whose cardinality lies strictly between and this statement is now known to be independent of the axioms of zamello frankel set theory with the axiom of choice. That is, both the hypothesis and its negation are consistent with these axioms. In fact, for every non-zero natural number n, the equality equals is independent of ZFC. The same is true for most other LFs, although in some cases equality can be ruled out by Koenig's theorem on the grounds of cofinality, e.g., in particular, could be either or, where is the first uncountable ordinal, so it could be either a successor cardinal or a limit cardinal, and either a regular cardinal or a singular cardinal. Sets with cardinality of the continuum. A great many sets studied in mathematics have cardinality equal to. Some common examples are the following. The real numbers. Any closed or open interval in. For instance, for all such that we can define the bijection now we show the cardinality of an infinite interval. For all we can define the bijection and similarly for all the irrational numbers. The transcendental numbers. We note that the set of real algebraic numbers is countably infinite so the cardinality of the real algebraic numbers is. Furthermore, the real algebraic numbers and the real transcendental numbers are disjoint sets whose union is. Thus, since the cardinality of is, the cardinality of the real transcendental numbers is. A similar result follows for complex transcendental numbers, once we have proved that. The Cantor set. Euclidean space. The complex numbers. We note that, per Cantor's proof of the cardinality of Euclidean space, by definition, any can be uniquely expressed as for some. We therefore define the bijection the power set of the natural numbers, the set of sequences of integers, the set of sequences of real numbers, the set of all continuous functions from two, the Euclidean topology on the Borel sigma algebra on sets with greater cardinality. Sets with cardinality greater than include the set of all subsets of the set 2R of indicator functions defined on subsets of the rails, the set of all functions from 2, the Lebesgue sigma algebra of, i.e., the set of all Lebesgue measurable sets in the stone check compactifications of and the set of all automorphisms of the field of complex numbers. These all have cardinality.